At a secret location in Bangkok, Thai jewellery maker Putitipat Tep Hasadin has collected together more than a thousand antiques that for years were thought to be simply family heirlooms. But it's now believed these are lost treasures, some thousands of years old, removed from China at the time of the fall of the Qing dynasty more than a century ago. Putitipat's Chinese grandfather fled China in a flotilla of ships, bringing the artifacts with him to Thailand. Figures, vases, pots, royal seals, paintings and mythical creatures, many in jade or ivory, were passed down through the family. It was only when Putitipat decided to sell the items that he thought to contact Chinese experts to ask about their provenance. The answer came back, they were royal treasures, believed destroyed in an uprising against the last Qing emperor that led to the birth of the Chinese Republic. Many experts in China have confirmed the authenticity of these items. There are many types of treasures, such as jade-carved dragons, which are considered auspicious in China. The majority of them are thought to have been the personal belongings of an emperor. Many of the items are thought to have once been the property of ancient Chinese dynasties, and by tradition should only be owned by an acknowledged heir. Chinese authorities are said to be delighted at their forthcoming return. Documents from China verify a number of items as being from the correct historical period. As soon as Covid allows, the entire hoard will be transported to a Chinese museum. Back in those days in China, if an item contained the symbol of a dragon, it meant it was associated with an emperor, as commoners were forbidden from using it, and large jade items were considered extremely rare. Uh. I have decided to return all of these items to China, as my grandfather was Chinese and I am of Chinese descent. Authorities say their return will strengthen Chinese-Thai relations and vividly help tell the story of China's ancient history and culture. Martin Lowe, CGTN, Bangkok.